you know, South Park does explore identity politics, and 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 I think in ways that you know, um, you know, make us laugh because I mean, this stuff is serious business. I mean, and you know, it's a major part of comedy. You look at so many comedians who really base their the the fulcrum and crux of of their careers and their jokes are often based on you know playing with race playing with religion ethnicity um you know class you know and exploring you know these things through comedy and um and they actually you know in some ways break you know break down this sort of question and this is something that i think you know we need to think about is like you know how and are these categories right race gender class ethnicity you know culture religion etc you know how are these things the product of nature i mean you can kind of take religion and out of there and in culture i guess uh, maybe um but are these things like the product of nature? Are you born and imbued with these, imprinted on your brain and in your soul and in your essence when you're when you're born, or is this like nurtured in society? Um, do you learn these behaviors? Do you learn what it means to be um, a girl or a boy? Do you learn what it means to be, you know, black or or white? Um, you know, do you learn these things or are you these things, you know? And that's what, like, these South Park does kind of explore in, in some ways. And, you know, it really asks, you know, so many questions when we talk about identity politics is we're talking about, you know, essentialism. You know, are these factors, like gender and race, are they biologically determined? Or are they, you know, are they fixed? Do they exist in, in the natural world? And this is called essentialism, okay? Um, that there's some sort of biological determination that you um, you are, you know, uh, you are this this way, and you're born this way, or is it something that you fig that you figure out? You know, um, the idea that you know uh, construction, which is the opposite view of essentialism, is that these things are made, unmade, remade, change over time, um, that things are always evolving, who you are is always evolving, and that you're learning new, new elements of your, of your identity based upon um, your experience. And what you are taught to be may not be who you learn you are. Um, you know, and that's a very different viewpoint versus you are a certain way because you were born this way, you know, which is, is the essentialist view. Now, when we talk about and ask questions about identity politics, specifically, even through the lens of South Park, you know, today we'll talk about um, sexuality and gender, you know, um, these questions are always kind of there to deconstruct mainstream culture, to deconstruct hegemonic uh, culture, dominant society, um, you know, and to ask about oppression, ask about, you know, various types of minorities in society, right, to bring about some form of change. Can that happen with a cartoon like South Park? I doubt it. <laughs> you know, I doubt that South Park is, you know, um, creating social change through its episodes. But I do think that it has, you know, it gives us thought points. It gives us perspectives that we may agree with and that we may totally disagree with. But even being presented with comedic views that we totally disagree with that we find entirely pro problematic it does enhance our way of seeing and thinking through um, the social world and in, in which we live in um, but you know it's important to ask these questions even when we're watching something so dumb as a South Park okay 
So if we split the, um, you know, nature versus nurture into two, two ways of thinking about identity, um, you know, I think you would see that South Park is, is critiquing the essentialist view, the nature view. So basically this idea of nativism, that you're born with these specific qualities, that you're born with your identity in so many ways, that you don't learn what it means to be white, you don't learn what it means to be black, or learn what it may, means to be, you know, um, indigenous, uh, Native American, or you don't learn what it means to be a boy or girl or, or, you know, gender queer or whatever, you know, um, that you're born with, with those identity factors. Okay. Nurture suppo supports that this is a construction that, that through experience we're taught what it means to be, um, you know, the race that we identify with or are labeled as. We're taught what it means to be a certain gender and how to perform that, that gender. And we learn through various structures, not just the, the family structure or media structure or school or religious uh, structures, but all those structures together help to shape, you know, um, our, our identity and, and, how we learn and how we learn things. Uh, nature suggests that we're pre-programmed, that we're, we're built with a chip in us that you know, says you have these attributes and you were born to this family and, you know, have these, um, these qualities, therefore you are this, this, this way. And, you know, um, nurture supports a very opposite idea of that, you know, we're born as blank slates, that everything that we know about ourselves, we actually, we learn through society we learn through various social social structures um you know that our meaning and identity meanings that's given the things and identity that are given the things are learned behaviors um whereas nature suggests that we are given these elements at birth identity is not a choice it is it is you know um the interesting thing here is that you know, nature supposes there's a scientific gene for everything, um, you know, um, and this has been highly problematic for like um, gay conversion therapy, where you can, you know, um, cure, cure, uh, you know, gayness. Um, you know, that's a disease. You know, something that you're that you're born that you're born with um, versus something that you learn who you are, and and you learn that through through the world, um, and learn that through your experience, and you learn that through your relationship to certain things and and people. Uh, so these are two very different um, views of 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 identity, but they're the two dominant strains strands of. Um, you know, thinking about about these things.